Hello everyone, Crystal in here. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for tuning into Love With Me. Welcome to this special Twin Flame Pick A Card video. I wanted to start off with this beautiful little card. Um, every day holds the possibility of a miracle. Okay, so I just wanted, I pulled that for the overall reading of this entire video to keep that energy alive, to keep the possibilities, the opportunities to see your divine, authentic path manifesting. Okay, that is the miracle. You are the miracle. Every day, every single day, every single moment holds that possibility of our desires, our dreams manifesting. Okay, I just love that. I had to put that for everyone. So this is a very special Twin Flame Pick a Card in collaboration with my twin sisters um, who are offering a pick a card video as well. I'm going to put description and links in the description box for their pick a card videos. Um, my twin sisters, Ananda and Tiana, you can go to their channel and find their pick a card on the twin flame journey. How do they feel and what do they want to say to you? So if you're interested in that, please check out their channels, their videos. Again, I'll put that link for their videos in my description box. Um, we are truly here to support and elevate the Twin Flame community, the divine counterparts, um, truly returning to that path of just walking our authentic soul's path. You know, what we came here to do. This pick a card video is what is the mission? What is the purpose the universe has brought you and your twin flame together? Why are you guys here together? What are you here to do together? When you are in divine harmony and union with one another, which you always are, by the way, any separation is illusion and that's what we're here to transcend. So what is your divine purpose with your twin flame here in this physical earth reality? Um, we have four different messages. So this is for four different groups of people and what you came here to do as you tune into these four different piles, just really go with your first gut instinct, um, group one, two, three, and four. Um, I pulled a little message for each one. So maybe this will help you just affirm your own intuition. Group one, if you knew who walked beside you, at all times on this path that you have chosen, you could never experience fear or doubt again. Okay. For group number two, without faith, nothing is possible. With it, nothing is impossible. Okay. Group number three, your quote is, it's not who we are that holds us back. It's who we think we're not. Okay, and for group number four, nobody can conceive or imagine all the wonders there are unseen and unseeable in the world. So true. Okay, so I'll put timestamps in the description for each group and you so you can jump right to your reading. And I want to thank each and every one of you for your time, your energy, for tuning into my channel, for allowing me to support you on this journey and offer any guidance, insight, or wisdom that I can. And please remember to take what resonates with you. And if it doesn't resonate, then just know that's your intuition telling you that the message is not for you because whatever is meant for you will feel good. It will feel right. If it's not for you, it will feel off. It will feel, um, it just won't resonate with you. So trust your intuition, trust yourself. That's what this journey is all about is truly <clears throat> trusting your higher self, your higher wisdom that's in connection with the divine. Okay. So let's get started with this reading. You guys, we're going to start with group number one, set these off to the side. <clears throat> okay. So what is your divine purpose here? Group number one with your twin flame, your divine counterpart. Um, if you knew who walked beside you at all times on this path that you have chosen, you could never experience fear or doubt again, Wayne Dyer. Okay. So that's your very special message. 
Let's see. This is the this is a new deck I got. This is the um, Psychic Tarot for the Heart. So this is like a tarot oracle deck. Um, it's wonderful. It's for re divine relationships. So let's just see what you got here. <clears throat> see what your purpose, your divine mission is. I will actually link all the cards I use down below, and I'm going to clarify if I need to as well for you guys. So I'm just going to try and get these all on the camera here. <laughs> we got Reach Out, which is the Three of Pentacles, okay? We've got Manifest, which is the Magician, and then you've got the, a Heart Chakra card here, okay? You've got You Are Seeing This Situation Accurately from Horus from the Ascended Masters, from the Angels, you got Time to Go, and from Earth Magic, you've got Island Solitude, okay? So let me tune in here for just a moment and see what the universe would like you both to know, what your purpose, what your mission is here. Um, the Heart Chakra card this is truly all about tuning into the heart, tuning into where true, the true source of love and prosperity and abundance comes from. It's a number four, which is a foundation card. Okay. It's the four is stability, it's structure, it's foundation. It's also, um, you know, two and two is four. So it's, it's two, two souls, two lives coming together to form a solid foundation based on unconditional love, based on the heart. And the magician card here, manifesting, um, manifesting that relationship, that divine reality um, through the heart, through that path of unconditional love. And you've got the three of pentacles here. This is the reach out card. It's also the three of pentacles, which is collaborating with others, building a solid foundation in the physical world. It's about coming together on projects, creative ideas, share. It's a shared vision of individuals working together in harmony for a shared vision for the highest good of all, for a purpose that's bigger than themselves. So, You are seeing the situation accurately. This tells me that you have a very strong intuition, a very strong knowing of who you are, that you're here to create a solid foundation, that you're here to walk a path of unconditional love, that you're here to manifest this reality, this higher consciousness reality. And you're here to do that with your divine counterpart. Now, one of the things about this is that in order to really have this, you know, and you may be coming together to work on projects together, business together, you know, the pentacles is business. So you may be here to manifest some sort of business, some sort of foundation that others are involved in, that others can co-create with you that will support others in their journey, you know, of, of, walking this path as well of being in alignment with themselves um you know creating new opportunities for others to do that in a way that's very heart-centered um <clears throat> with the island solitude card here this is about taking time to yourself to really tune into your higher self to really tune into your vibration your frequency um, being in a place of solitude where you're not isolating yourself from the world, but you're simply taking this time as something valuable to tune into your spirit, to disconnect from the outside world, from electronics, from meetings, phone calls, family obligations, you know, to go to a place where you can be embraced with that life force energy, that spirit of nature and your higher self and spirit source, where you can hear your divine thoughts, where you can hear your divine words and being able to take that back into the world and express it. Um, 
and I see the time to go card here, which is the sun sets and rises each day. And it's the same with the avenues in your life. See the beauty within each sunset in your life and know that the sun will also rise again tomorrow. Endings are merely the start of a new beginning and we are with you through each phase and cycle. So it could be that you are here to help others manifest this solid foundation of unconditional love, that you are here to come together and to create some sort of vision together. You have some sort of purpose where you are collaborating, where you're helping others. I feel like it's a business. I feel like you're here to start something together and it's very heart-based. It's very heart-centered. Um, I'm going to pull some clarifiers for each of these cards. Um, and when you're in tune with your higher self, with the divine spirit, you're going to be guided. Just like this card says, if you knew who walked beside you. Um, so let's clarify the heart chakra card, spirit. Can we clarify why is the heart chakra card here? For group one, why is the heart chakra card here? For my divine tongue cards. <clears throat> what do they need to know about their mission here? Okay, so the six of pentacles, okay? So this is all about coming into equal give and receive, you know, being able to help those who want to help themselves, okay? The six of pentacles isn't about charity. It's not about feeling bad for anyone. It's about empowerment. It's about being in that energy of true prosperity and, and true abundance and seeing that everyone is abundant seeing that everyone has within them the power to manifest whatever it is they desire. <clears throat> and there are those that, you know, are on the path up and maybe they need a little help, but you can see that they're willing to put the work in. They're willing to put the time and energy and that they're going to be successful in what they do, but they need a little help. And so, you know, in this case, you may offer, you know, money or support to someone, but there's not that feeling of, being manipulated or taken advantage of because you're, <clears throat> you're, you're offering your, your pentacles, your time, your energy into something that's very fair and balanced. And, um, <clears throat> you know, it's not about begging or anything. It's just this equal, it's like being able to help those when they need it. It's helping those who want to help themselves. I feel like you're really here to help others help themselves, empower people in, in some way in a, in a financial sense where they can create a financial, financially abundant, stable home life for their families, people who are willing to do the work, who want to do the work, who want to create that stable foundation, but maybe they don't have the means and you're somehow meant to play a role in that. Um, so maybe you're going through a similar situation and it's preparing you for this mission that you guys have together. Okay. And teaching others what true prosperity is, what true give and receive is, um, that it's mutual and it goes both ways. Um, you know, cause with, there's, there's times when we need a little extra help and, and we have people in our lives that we can depend on and we want to be there for those when they really need help because we all go through things, you know? And so it's important to recognize that. Oops. So spirit, why is the magician card here? Oh, this card flipped out. Okay. So the star, so this is about healing. This is about your destiny, you know, hopes and dreams and trusting. This is about healing, um, you know, healing the things that led us down a path that maybe was painful or, you know, taught us things that were hard to go through, very challenging to experience, but they taught us something very valuable. They taught us something that is priceless, you know, and we know now from that experience that we're on the right path. We're making choices that are going to serve us, serve our higher good, that allow us to flow with life, that allow us to follow our destiny, you know, with our higher self, our soul, you know, to follow our soul, our heart, our guidance with spirit. And to be able to dip into the waters and dip into the earth and, you know, allowing things to flow where they need to and trusting the process, trusting spirit is guiding you. And, you know, you're, when you both come into alignment with that, you know, whatever it is that you're here to manifest is going to heal. It's, it's going to be healing for yourselves, but also for all of those people, you're going to help others heal as well by your example. It's like you're, 
showing them how to take the pain and turn it into pleasure, right? That's just what I'm feeling from this. And at the same time, creating a financially stable foundation, okay? <clears throat> so why is the Three of Pentacles here, Spirit? Why is the Three of Pentacles here? Let's clarify the Three of Pentacles. of pentacles okay so yeah this is um <laughs> this is a new beginning in what creating a solid foundation is really all about prosperity manifestation in the physical world um you know <laughs> this is this is a breakthrough this is like looking at how to create wealth and abundance <clears throat> a secure family foundation and home on this path of unconditional love, you know, of being guided by your spirit versus the ego mind versus the matrix world. And, you know, that's what you're, that's what you guys are here to do. You're here to offer that guidance. And I really, I really am feeling that strongly that you're here to come together and create some sort of business together where not only are you succeeding and flourishing and, you know, just very successful in your finances and your business and your home life, I'm very solid and secure of it. And through that process, you're going to teach others how to do it. And this is all happening for a reason. It's very, very divine. And you are never alone. You are never alone. Take the time in solitude when you are in solitude to connect to your higher self, to connect to the spirit to the spirit of life, you know, and it's going to guide you. You're going to feel it in your soul. Um, you're definitely seeing this situation accurately. And so just keep on this path, keep on this path of love. And, um, this is amazing because we all, this is what we're all searching for. So being a shining light in this world is challenging because it's been so heavily, programmed with so many things, you know, this very heavy, dense, dark energy of the material world. And it really, it takes a lot to transcend it. Okay. It's very challenging. So we definitely appreciate everything you're doing. And I am so grateful and honored to be able to deliver any message of just support and affirmation and, you know, encouragement to continue forward and keep going. And keep following your soul and your spirit and healing and focusing on giving and receiving and where true abundance comes from, which is source. I love you so, so much. Thank you for your time, your energy. Thank you for being here with me. And, um, I would love to hear your feedback and just thank you so much for your subscriptions, your likes, your shares. I am beyond words grateful to be a messenger and to be able to do this and connect with all of you. Amazing, amazing, people. <laughs> so we're in this together and, um, I hope you enjoyed this reading and I will see you next time. Thank you so, so much. We're going to move on to group number two. Okay. Okay, so for those of you who chose group number two, what is the universe want you to know about your purpose here with your twin flame, your divine counterpart? What is the mission that you guys came here to accomplish together? You guys ready? So you got your little quote here, without faith, nothing is possible. With it, nothing is impossible. Okay. 
So let's see what you guys got here. I'm just going to flip over everything. This is the Psychic Tarot for the Heart. Mm, Oracle deck. Tarot Oracle. <laughs> Let me just see what you got here. Okay. So I'm going to take a minute just to look here. And I'm also going to pull some clarifiers for you guys as well. But this is... The opportunity beckons. This is the Four of Cups in the tarot. You've got the base chakra here, which is just the root chakra card. And then you've got Nurture here, which is um, the Empress, okay, in the tarot. We've got Milky Way Perspective, and we've got Opportunity to Forgive, as well as Persistence from Lou, okay? So, the base chakra card here, I'm just going to tune in for a second. I want to see what spirit has got to say here about your mission. What's going on with you guys? Um, so, this card, what they have to say about this card is that this is the base chakra or the root chakra, okay? And this is the energy situated um, at the base of the spine, and it's most closely related to all your earthly issues, such as survival, the physical body, issues of money, sustenance, safety, and shelter, okay? Physical movement strengthens the chakra, and um, by energizing the chakra, you strengthen your right to have, and you will be blessed with the loving and supportive relationships that you truly dissolve, deserve. Okay. So something about transcending the root chakra, um, moving up into the heart chakra, moving more into a conscious connection with the earth, into... true abundance, true, where the, where the foundation, where the true, um, energy of life comes from being really connected to that. When we are living from the root chakra, which in our world, you know, in our reality, a lot of our programs and beliefs have us living from the, the three chakras at the base of our system, you know, the root chakra, the sacral chakra, and the solar plexus. And we, the programming has us living from these three chakras and it, it prevents us from moving up into the heart chakra, up into the throat chakra, the, the crown, the third eye, all of that. It keeps us this energy from rising into the heart chakra. And so a lot of us are here to transcend, obviously, you know, that's kind of where our ego resides. And if we aren't growing, if we aren't continuing to evolve, then our ego kind of takes over and things just aren't flowing the way they should. So a lot of us are really transcending that, that energy that's, you know, stagnant and stuck. And we are really being called to move into this vibration of unconditional love. Our true authentic frequency is unconditional love. So it's natural that we want to move in that direction. <clears throat> and when I see the four of cups here, you know, this is a card, you know, you see opportunity beckons. And so this is really calling us into our emotional world, our heart. You know, we're very bored with our current reality. We're not fulfilled um, and satisfied with what we have. We're just kind of like, oh, you know, going through the motions. We're going through our life. We're thinking this should be the life I wanted. You know, this was the life I was told to have. This was the life I was told would make me happy, but I'm just sitting around going, you know, it's just like, I'm not satisfied. Like nothing is really igniting my spirit. Nothing's inspiring me. And there's this longing for this connection, right? To our emotions, to our instincts, to our, to who we really are. And that's why we feel this longing. We're looking out like, you know, what's going on? Why am I not satisfied? 
So this is a time to really look at that, you know, and to transcend what it is that really fulfills us on a deeper level. You guys are here somehow to break free of this pattern of being stuck in a false reality of what happiness is, of what true abundance is is of what a true fulfilling relationship is and that begins with yourself that begins with you recognizing these programs and patterns that you're stuck in that are keeping you from rising into your to you know evolving into all that you are to opening up your heart chakra to opening up your throat you're speaking your truth to really connecting and opening up your third eye and your crown chakra that's connected to spirit, okay? Because when all of your chakras are in alignment, when they're all working together, once the root chakra realizes where the true source of abundance comes from, everything can connect and operate together. Um, when I see the three here, the nurture card, this is the Empress. And let me see, let me read out of the book a little bit and see if there's anything because this is <clears throat> okay <laughs> this card is all about nourishing and blossoming and abundance okay it reminds you to tend the garden relationships must be nourished in order to thrive count the abundant blessings of the relationships you have find ways to let other people know that you care for them and appreciate them Good relationships can be taken to new levels of happiness and faltering relationships can be revived with loving care and attention. Be sure to tend to your relationship with yourself first, okay? Nurture your soul by giving yourself the grace to be who you really are and love yourself for it. Take a few moments every day to connect with the divine, okay? Nurture your mind by engaging in activities that stimulate and engage. Use your creativity in some way every day. Everyone has the ability to be creative. Take care of your body by maintaining your good health or making it healthy, relax, enjoy a bubble bath, a good cup of tea, take a long walk. Connecting with nature will soothe and nourish all aspects of yourself. Remember that nurturing yourself also raises your vibration and sends a signal of love into the universe. If you desire it, that signal will be a beacon that will bring a new and loving relationship to you. The affirmation for this card is, I shower all my relationships with loving attention and watch them blossom. Okay, so the Empress is very connected to the earthly realms, to the spiritual realms. She's very, she sees all life as sacred. You know, all life has purpose. All life is here to nourish us and to create this amazing reality that we live in. And when we nurture ourselves in that capacity, we nurture everything. Everything is a divine reflection. The universe truly is a divine reflection of mirrors. It, it reflects who we are on the inside. And it's knowing where the true source of that reflection, you know, reflecting who you really are versus who you were told to be, right? And because who you really are is unconditional love. You are source energy. And so you, you guys are here to transcend that. You're here to awaken that energy of unconditional love and to bring that out into the world. You're help. You're here to help shift a perspective, you know, from, from this fear-based consciousness to a love-based consciousness from transcending the ego and walking the path of true unconditional love, true to who you really are. And by doing that, you inspire that in others. So, <clears throat> and in order to come into divine union with any divine counterpart in your life, soulmate, anyone, friendship, relationship, it's, it's about tuning into your true authentic self and honoring yourself and loving yourself. And by doing that, you know, the love you deserve and you know the love that others deserve as well so you got the milky way perspective card which is you know shifting your perspective so i really feel like you guys when you come together you're going to shift the perspectives of many people you're going to help the energy shift from that 
fear-based consciousness to the true authentic consciousness and you're going to help others see things from a new perspective from a different way of being you're going you're going to somehow show others that living this path of authenticity will lead you to divine bliss um I feel like you're really going to help people see how it's done. You're going to walk your talk and coming together is really going to help you guys solidify that energy into this reality. Um, you know, opportunity to forgive. This situation brings you the opportunity to heal, grow and release negative patterns. Hold the intention of seeing the other person's inner divine light and goodness. We will help you release unforgiving thoughts, feelings, and energies and lift you to a higher place of peace and compassion. Okay, so if you have anything towards your divine counterpart, if you know who they are, and there's anything within you that is holding on to anything negative or lower vibrational or anger or, or resentment or betrayal or any hurt or pain, anything. Okay, it's important for you to see them as yourself. So, a really um, awesome exercise you can do is to look in the mirror and to say to them how they've made you feel as if they were you. So, you can say, you know, I'm very hurt by the way that you rejected me. And you, so you look at that, you look at yourself and you say, Crystal, I so I'm Crystal and say, Crystal, I'm, I'm, you've really hurt me because you rejected me. <clears throat> and in that I can have, I have compassion for myself. And I see that, you know, at the time I was actually rejecting myself. I was not in alignment with who I really was. I was, I was taking things personal when I shouldn't have. I was projecting things onto others, you know, because of the beliefs I was under the programs, you know, of believing I was supposed to be this certain way, you know, and I was able to forgive myself and say, oh my gosh, I see now, I see, and I can forgive myself. And if I can do that, you know, if I can forgive myself, then others can forgive me and I can forgive others and we can transcend and recognize it and move forward. And not live in those programs anymore and not live in those beliefs and live in true authentic love with one another and with others so through forgiveness through shifting your perspective to that love consciousness that true divine um authentic consciousness the divine blueprint you know the organic path you release yourself to move forward into everything that you are right and staying persistent Lou is you know he represents abundance <laughs> he represents that solar plexus confidence success warmth nurturing compassion strength you know connected to the spirit your soul is strength your soul is confident trust your confidence trust your soul trust your knowing trust that you are unconditional love and it is guiding you to transcend all of this and that's what you guys are here to, to do together um i'm gonna quickly just clarify these cards for you and see what spirit has to say any additional messages um so spirit let's clarify the four of cups please you clarify the four of cups right here Gift number two my divine mission and purpose so why is the universe bringing you all together that card wanted to flip, but it didn't, so we'll pass it by. Spirit, why is the floor of cups here? All right, I got a phone call. Sorry about that, guys. Please clarify the floor of cups. Come on, Spirit. Please clarify the floor of cups for my group number two. Here we go. King of Wands. Okay. Spirit, can you please clarify the base chakra card? Clarify the base chakra card. 
the two of wands. Oh my goodness. Some fire energy here. And please clarify the Empress. Why is the Empress here, Spirit? Oh my lord, the Knight of Wands. Okay. Okay, so we have got, and then look at this on the bottom of the deck, the Ace of Wands. So, wow. Um, we've got some fire energy here in this reading. Um, you guys got a lot of fire, which is passion, spiritual. So this is about following the spiritual path, you know. Wow. <clears throat> when it comes to building solid foundations, I've... You know, the King of Pentacles usually comes out, but right now, recently, the King of Wands, he's been really coming out, and it's, it's this spiritual energy, this very passionate spiritual energy of divine counterparts, I think, coming together and really having that true understanding of, you know, this fire. You know, if we keep this fire burning, it, it keeps fueling us, it inspires us, it ignites us, it it attracts us. There's chemistry, there's alchemy, there's so much. And the King of Wands is a natural born leader. He's a leader. He's, he loves, you know, watching his ideas grow and flourish. You know, he loves, he loves to, um, see others incorporating his ideas and seeing them come to life. And he's very supportive, you know, of people's creative, creative spirits and their passions and he's very mastered in his fire as well you know he knows how to use his fire and i really see this as you know <clears throat> coming out of this you know life of boredom and stagnation and really choosing to live a life of passion and being connected to the divine okay so it's really about stepping into that energy and that happens when we open our heart, you know, and this is the two of wands. This is, you know, really being able to walk this path, you know, having, seeing the bigger picture, seeing out ahead and being really grounded in this fire and knowing that these ideas are, this, this is the path, you know, transcending this, the ego and moving into a love-based consciousness is the path. And the de that decision's been made, you know, to move forward. You can feel that it's calling you, it's pulling you. You can feel the world. You have the world in your hands. When you tune into this feeling, this mission together, you can see, you can feel this passion, you know. You can look out over the horizon and imagine all the possibilities and all of the you know, things that, that are going to come to fruition, that are going to bloom and sprout. Um, it's really beautiful. And then you've got the Knight of Wands here, um, clarifying the Empress. So it's, you know, it's about when you tune into your authentic self, your true divine nature, this passionate energy that makes you just want to charge forth in love and, you know, your, your spiritual ideas and really ground them and really go forward with that passion, you know, that action, this is an action card. It's going to help you take action towards the things you desire, towards the life you desire to manifest. And it's going to take, you know, some discipline and, and to be a leader. You guys are here to lead. You're here to lead others in that direction you're here to create that movement and i see that with this very spiritual fiery passionate energy um by transcending your own situations here you know you are going to be a leader in this you're going to be a visionary you know the king of wands is a visionary he's a leader he's his ideas are fire and he likes to see them implemented and he knows how, you know, he's, he's just very good at being able to keep other people's fires lit as well. So I feel like you're going to light other people's fires and there's going to be people, you know, inspired by what you're doing and coming together and how you're presenting that out into your reality. So I love it. I hope this reading resonated with you. I hope it gave you some affirmation and just, you know, guidance to what you're feeling inside already and to stay on your path, you know, to keep following your divine guidance, your, 
your defined self because you are your twin flame. You are, you know, and you, you are a divine counterpart. You have a divine counterpart out there that is mirroring you. That is you. <laughs> so I love you guys. Thank you so much for your time and energy. Thank you for tuning in. Um, I am so grateful for your subscribes, your likes, your shares, your comments. Um, and I look forward to bringing you more twin flame, um, readings, which I'm going to be doing this week. So stay tuned and check in for that. Um, <laughs> but I love you. And again, thank you so much. We'll see you next time. I'm going to move on to group number three here. Oh my goodness. Okay. So for those of you who've chosen group number three, your little quote here is, it's not who we are that holds us back. It's who we think we're not. Okay. <clears throat> so what is the divine mission? What is the purpose the universe has brought you two together that you've chosen to come together to help you, the universe manifest in this reality? What are you guys here to do? Um, I was pulling three cards for everyone, but four magically came out for you guys. So I'm just going to lay them all out here and see what we got. <clears throat> I can see what's going on here because this is, this is the psychic tarot of the, for the heart deck, which is a tarot Oracle. It's a beautiful deck and it's all about relationships. Um, being the most important relationship being with yourself. So it's perfect for twin flame readings because you truly are a divine counterpart. You are your own twin flame. And by coming into union with yourself, you naturally attract all your divine counterparts. So we've got rebuild 16, which I believe is the tower card. Okay. We've also got 10 flow, which is wheel of fortune in the tarot. Okay. We've got nine darkest fears. This is the nine of swords in the tarot. Okay. And giving and receiving. This is the six of pentacles. Okay. You've also got Purification from the Ascended Masters. We've got Cupid from the Angels and Crystals Focus from Earth Magic. Okay. And I'm going to pull some clarifiers for these as well, but I just, I'm going to tune in here for a second and kind of see what is going on here. Feeling into this. So... So the nine of the nine here, the darkest fears, this is the nine of swords. Okay. This card is all about mental anxiety, stress, depression, um, you know, our darkest fears, thinking that our darkest fears are going to come true and really living in this mental prism, you know, of just false beliefs, judgments, criticisms, um, nightmares, things keeping us up at night, you know, not believing in ourselves, having self doubt, just totally being completely beaten up by our thoughts, <laughs> our thoughts and our emotions, right? It's, it's ma mainly our thoughts, but it, it trickles into everything. And this is really, really beautiful coming with the tower card, just all these cards. So, I'm going to actually look in the book here and see um, if there's anything else because this card, <clears throat> what I'm feeling is that you guys are coming together, you divine counterparts are coming together to really break through this toxic, I want to say, um, toxic thoughts, toxic beliefs, toxic behaviors, toxic patterns, um,
mental, mental toxic stuff. I feel like you're both, you both come from, um, families or situations where there was just a lot of mental abuse, a lot of mental conflict, a lot of mental disagreements, a lot of assumptions and preconceived things and jumping to conclusions and a lot of just things being created in our minds that aren't actually true, that created a lot of physical, out, external conflict, external chaos, external problems in our lives, you know, things that really didn't need to happen because they were coming from our mind, our program beliefs, you know, fear-based thoughts and ideas, okay? We are all really coming, you know, the twins especially, we are coming through to break through that, to break that foundation, to let that foundation crumble, to let it fall apart, to see what's really going on. And so we've had to come into these situations to experience it for ourselves, to find out what it's all about so that we can put an end to it, basically. And so that's what I'm really seeing is that you're here to, <clears throat> you're here to really, you're understanding why love is so important, <laughs> why love is so important and why it's so crucial in our lives. Because if we don't have love with that absence of love, we go into this self-imposed prison of fear, fear-based prison that's all created in our minds. And it just creates suffering, right? So, and it's really easy to lose who we are. It's really easy to doubt who we are. It's really easy to be, feel stuck and paralyzed. And, you know, we get stuck on this negative thought train, right? And it's just like, it's worse and worse and worse. And so this is about recognizing that and learning how to overcome that. It's about learning how to rebuild your life based on unconditional love, on a foundation of unconditional love. It's about um, really tuning into spirit. It's about really tuning into your higher self and operating from your higher self. And this is rebuild. It's the tower card. So it's about really allowing the old foundations to crumble, to see that you came into them for a reason, to see how they were constructed, why they, why they couldn't be lasting, why they had to fall apart. Because anything that's not built on unconditional love has to fall away. And so transcending, you guys are here to really transcend fears and understand that you are in control of your destiny. <clears throat> you are in control of your vessel. You are, are choosing to tune into unconditional love and to spirit. And with that comes the wheel of fortune. With that comes flow and harmony and balance and, you know, things beginning to turn in your favor because instead of planting thoughts of fear, you are now planting thoughts of love and what true love is with the true essence of giving and receiving the true essence of prosperity and abundance and where that comes from. Um, you know, the wheel of fortune is luck. It's prosperity. It's, you know, cycles completing and ending and turning and things, you know, understanding that what we put into motion comes back around everything that we put out comes back to us. Um, because when I see the giving and receiving here, it's like, this is six of pentacles. So it's the physical, tangible items in the world. You know, we, we associate it with finances and career, but it's also, you know, our, our home life, our environment, you know, the, the physical, tangible things in reality. And in order to come into balance and harmony and flow with that, it requires us to understand where the true source of it is. And as we give out true unconditional love, that's what comes back to us. If we're giving out fear-based thoughts and fear-based vibrations, um, that's what's coming back to us. So it's like you guys are mirroring each other first and foremost. And, you know, this reading is like your divine counterpart and yourself are going through very similar situations, although they're most likely, you know, you're experiencing different things on different ends of the spectrum, but your purpose is very similar and to help you see similar aspects through the feminine and the masculine. And so, you know, seeing that 
the foundation that was built before was ultimately had to crumble. It had to come down. And so it's about embracing this opportunity to rebuild on the true foundation of unconditional love moving forward. Okay. And that's what you guys are here to do. And that's what you're doing. You're doing that right now. Um, and whatever it is that you're going through is teaching you that. Okay. Because you've got purification here from white Tara. And this is all about purifying everything, not just your body. This is about purifying your mind, your spirit, your emotions, the, the beliefs, you know, this is about creating new belief systems, new patterns, things that are healthy to, and supportive to your spirit, not just your physical body. Your physical body is very important because everything's connected, you know? So, and everything begins in our thoughts, you know, when we're thinking healthy thoughts, we choose healthy things in our life, which result in healthy manifestations. When we're thinking unhealthy thoughts, unhealthy, you know, things that manifest in the physical as well by making poorer choices that don't support our well-being. So it's not anything to be down upon yourself about. It's just about becoming aware of it, recognizing that we're human and that we came into certain family dynamics for a reason. And we came here because we're badasses and, and we came here to transmute it and to change it, to break the link in the chain and hook up to the proper source <laughs> because I'm seeing your two Cupid. Okay. The angel said, we send, we send great waves of love into your heart and mind, awakening your love for life itself. Your clear decision to accept and enjoy romance has triggered this reawakening. Allow yourself to spontaneously celebrate love in all its glorious aspects. Okay. So really tuning into this feeling in your heart, you know, you feel for your divine counterpart, this feeling that only they, they provide, you know, it's a chemistry, it's an energetic link. And it's about being who you really are because your divine counterpart, it's like, you feel this love for them and this, this connection to them no matter what. So if both of us can transcend the three-dimensional consciousness and move into a higher spiritual consciousness and see each other for who we really are and understand that we can forgive and we can love and we can make better choices, then we're not looking to fight anymore. We're not looking to feed that energy that takes us down the, the path of suffering and struggling. We're looking to feed the energy of love that takes us into healing and building and, you know, supporting and nurturing, right? So um, keep following what's awakening that loving feeling within you. And, um, it's going to keep revealing more about your mission work together. Um, staying focused. Okay. Crystal clear, focused, really setting your intentions, being very intentional that you're choosing love, that you're choosing what is in alignment for you, that you are a divine counterpart, therefore coming into alignment with your true self your twin flame, your union with yourself is going to bring that manifestation out into the physical world. So stay focused, stay intentional. This card, you know, suggests that you can pour your intentions into crystals and place them around you and carry them on you. Um, the divine is very subtle energy. So everything's very subtle and it's um, all about your intention and it's you know, doing it on a daily basis, doing it on a consistent basis. So spirit knows that you're, you mean it. So, you, you know, keeping commitments to yourself, staying focused on this path of love, no matter what, regardless of what is going on with your divine counterpart, knowing that you are in union with yourself, you are transcending these things because no matter what you're walking this path of love and you know, not being attached to anything, but instead staying focused and intentional on walking this path of unconditional love. Okay. I want to clarify these cards for you quickly here. <clears throat> because I just want to give you as much information as I can here. So spirit can clarify the tower card, tower card, please. The emperor. Okay. So really taking control of your life, really taking control and authority over your life and your path and standing, you know, and this is the divine masculine energy, you know, this is, this is 
you know, being serious about the path you're walking on, but, but being in trust, being able to let go and understand that, you know, this foundation you're building is serious. This is going to be built on unconditional love, but it's a calm, strong energy. You know, it's the emperor is connected to the divine and he really embodies the masculine energy. He's proud and he's, you know, very serious and, you know, he takes charge of it because he, he loves, you know, what he's created. He loves this life that he's living and, you know, he's connected to source, you know, he's serious with source. He holds the world in his hands. He knows he's got it all. And as long as you are connected to your inner guidance, your connection to source, you've got it all. And you've got the, you've got the strength, the ambition, the foundation, you know, to create that. So I love that. Okay. And spirit, why is the Knight of Swords here? Spirit, why is the Knight of Swords? Four of Cups, right? So this is this is about being dissatisfied with your current situation, your current reality. You know, the life that <clears throat> the life that you've been living up to this point was, you know, the life that you believed in your heart was the path you were supposed to follow, you know, from everything that you learned and, and had been told. And just finding yourself not fulfilled emotionally, not satisfied with what is, not satisfied with anything, and really wanting to transcend this energy, knowing that there's more to life. There is more to life than all this anxiety and stress, you know, that this is not what we came here to experience. And, you know, we came here to experience so much more, so much more. And so it's about really recognizing that energy and coming out of it. And not being bored with our lives, but being very excited and knowing that we are the master of our destiny, that what we put out comes back. So I love that. And Spirit, can you clarify the Wheel of Fortune card here, please? Oh, I don't want to come out. Oh my goodness. Let me get too many cards here, Spirit. <clears throat> the Wheel of Fortune. And Spirit, why is the Wheel of Fortune card here? Oh, this card wanted to come out. Five of Cups. So, yeah, the Wheel of Fortune is, you know, really the Five of Cups again, you know. Not having regrets for your life, you know, knowing that you're going to do everything in your power to live a fulfilling life, to not look back with regrets, to not be disappointed and knowing that, you know, if it's, if it takes changing my mindset, that's what it's going to take because I'm not going to have regrets. I don't want to keep looking back and, you know, having to feel regretful and disappointed and feeling the sense of loss and wasted time and all of that, you know, you're going to focus on manifesting your future that that you're in charge of your fortune, you're in charge of your destiny. And you know, this, this energy, this is going to end and you're going to inspire. So, you know, just, just by you embodying this, you know, you're putting an end to this energy and that's beautiful. Okay. Spirit, why are the six of pentacles? Why is the six of pentacles here? I'm going to redo that. That was right. Why are the Six of Pentacles here? Spirit, why is the Six of Pentacles here? King of Swords, right? So, really, <laughs> really just cutting to the truth of the matter really choosing to live a life based on truth, based on integrity, based on love, what real true unconditional love is doing the right thing. You know, 
being authentic and standing up for the truth, standing up for what's right, not putting up with any BS and mind games and, you know, getting really clear in your mind space, in your mental space, in your head, you know, that your ego, you know, it, it follows your higher self. It is in alignment with your higher self, that you're able to see through the deception, the manipulation, um, and you're seeing through that because you're you're choosing to be true to who you really are. And that's what you guys are here to do. You're here to walk the truth. You're here to shine a light on the path of truth and really helping others break free of this mental anxiety. Even if it's not others, it's just yourself, your family, your friends, your pat, you know, the lineage that you came here. It's breaking free of that mental anxiety, mental dysfunction because the only reason we're in that state is because of that fear-based consciousness and programming. So it's really, this is really awesome. You guys are here to walk the truth, be the truth. You are the truth, <laughs> the truth, the light, the way. So, wow. I, I love this reading. I truly hope this resonated with you and just affirmed what you're feeling inside the path that you're walking and that you continue on it and continue cutting through the lies and the deception and seeing the truth, seeing the unconditional love of who you really are and, you know, taking life into your own hands and creating, you know, this beautiful, this is the wheel of fortune. I just see this as really moving into that consciousness, that energy of unconditional love and prosperity. And in that you will attract everything to you that you desire that's meant for you. So, um, stay focused, keep walking the path and walking it right with you. And I'm just so honored. I'm so honored and grateful to be a messenger for you. So thank you again. Thank you for your time and energy. Um, thank you for your subscribes, likes, comments, shares. I'm beyond grateful and so thankful. And, um, we'll definitely see you next time. We're going to move on to group number four. Thanks guys. Lots of love to you and your day. Okay, you guys. Group number four, last group. What is the universe wanting you to know about your mission here with your twin flame, your divine counterpart? What did you guys choose to do together in this physical reality? So your quote is, nobody can conceive or imagine all the wonders there are unseen and unseeable in the world. Okay. So let's see what you guys got here. I'm just going to lay the cards out. Let's see what we got. Okay. So we've got take the lead, which is the three of wands. Okay. We've got <clears throat> well-deserved reward, which is the nine of pentacles. And we've got control. I believe this is the chariot card. Or strength. Is it strength? Number eight. It's probably strength. Let me see. Strength. Yes. Okay. New deck, you guys. Sorry about that. This is the Psychic Tarot of the Heart. It's an amazing deck. It's a tarot oracle, and it's all about unconditionally loving relationships. Um, the most important being with ourselves. So this is perfect for us twin flames. And I'm going to just take a moment here to tune into what I see. Um, and I'll pull some clarifiers as well for you guys. Um, let me just tune in here for a second. Wow, you've got strength twice. <clears throat> okay. And life purpose. So, wow. Okay, so life purpose says, the purpose of your life is to serve in a way that brings great joy to yourself and others. Don't worry about finding your purpose. Instead, focus upon serving a purpose and then your purpose will serve you, okay? So you and your divine counterpart, wow, you guys are very strong, 
very, very, very strong spirits, strong people. Okay. Um, this card is all about compassion, patience. It's about mastering that inner strength. Um, this card, almost when I look at it, it reminds me of like this, these eyes being the higher self, the divine spirit, and this being the human self and us kind of like bowing to our higher selves. Like our true strength doesn't come from our ego, our physical vessel in this reality. It comes from our higher self, it comes from spirit. And it takes a lot of inner strength to remind yourself of that when you're going through challenging times. So I feel like whatever it is, you are both here to embody strength. You're here to be leaders. You are leaders. And there's some sort of <clears throat> untapped magic that you both have within you, that you have within you. Um, and I feel like it has to do with independence, sovereignty, that you're here to take the lead in creating a life of sovereignty, of empowerment for others to be inspired by. Okay. Um, and that requires us to let go of control of the external and really focus our energy on the internal world. Because in order to be a leader, in order to walk the sovereign path, the empowered path, it requires us to surrender to our higher selves and to surrender to things we don't have control over. And that is one of the hardest things to do coming from someone who is a life path. Number eight. Um, I resonate with this <laughs> immensely. So this card says in order to flourish, relationships must be fluid and free rather than overly rigid and controlled by emotional neediness or insecurity. It's important to master your emotions so that they do not rule the relationship. A partnership based solely on emotion is out of balance and out of control. Self-control is the key here. Act from a combination of emotion and intellect and your relationship will thrive and grow. Be sure that your influence is gentle and loving. This is not the time for domination. This card asks you to accept another person's uniqueness and not to require that person to conform to a mold of your choosing just to make you feel more comfortable. This card also serves as a reminder to come from compassion and understanding rather than anger or frustration. Now is the time for patience, steadiness, and clear thinking. Apply these qualities to your relationship with others and with yourself. If you're involved with a difficult person or situation, try to look through the other person's eyes and experience what his or her heart and soul feels. Try to see the situation from another perspective. With self-control comes confidence. Allow a situation to unfold and detach yourself from the outcome. Don't try to control it. The end result of self-control and confidence is supreme peace. Take some time to examine how control and its many aspects is affecting your relationships. The affirmation of this card is I control my emotions and embrace peace. Okay. So what I'm seeing here with these cards is that for whatever reason I'm feeling, and it's because of this nine of pentacles here, the nine of pentacles is a card about, you know, independence and being very abundant and being very much in union with yourself, you know, that self appreciation and your purpose and what you came here to do. And you're also very appreciative of the environment around you, of the abundance and prosperity in your life. Um, although you're not, you know, that the material world is not where it all is. It's like, you're not interested necessarily in being single or being alone, but you are content with being yourself and with being on your own because you are connected to the divine and everything happens when it's supposed to. Right. Um, nine is, you know, a number of completion. I just think it's interesting how it comes after the eight and you've got two strength cards here and you know, 
as well as a three here, which I like because it's like two, it's like two divine beings coming together as one with the divine spirit and taking the lead, um, in this direction, because, you know, this card's all about being disciplined. Um, it says it's also about compassion and satisfaction and graciousness. Okay. So having the strength to really let go of controlling the external world and really focusing on that internal strength and that connection to your divine self and um, learning to be independent, learning to be sovereign, learning to be happy with who you are, just as you are, as you are. Um, that is what is going to come about when you let go of control, when you just let go and allow yourself to be yourself, to let everything fall where it may, to be where it needs to be, having the discipline to stay true to who you are, and just knowing that positive things are coming, you know, keeping the, keeping the goal of what it's all about in your mind, you know, staying in that energy of where, what true prosperity and abundance is, um, where true contentment lies, being proud of yourself, um, you know, being self-reliant and, and being able to be considerate and compassionate of others because they're not where you are, you know, and I guess it's really about loving yourself fully, you know, and all the things that you've done and all the work that you've accomplished and understanding where that true where the true accomplishment comes from, where the true emotional fulfillment comes from and taking the lead. So this is the three of wands and taking the lead is, you know, very spiritual, passionate beginning, you know, and going out into the world and seeing the vision, seeing the, seeing what's, you know, coming, the opportunities, the things that are opening up for you and feeling really good about that. I feel like, um, let me see. So yeah, this is, um, the energy of fire. Obviously it's the wand. So it's saying to tap into the energy to fire up your relationships and bring you all that you desire regarding matters of the heart. Call down the divine flame to ignite your passion and show you the way to achieve your deepest wishes. Don't wait for the other person to make a move. Take the initiative and be bold. Okay. It says, now's the time, now is not the time for the status quo. Use this beautiful, fiery energy to explore new possibilities. How can you spice up current relationships? How about learning a new skill with your friend or taking the family on a special vacation? If you're looking for a new relationship, think creatively and try new ways of meeting someone. Step out of your comfort zone. And yeah, that's, you know, the three of wands is about moving forward on that path. You know, you're stepping out of your comfort zone. You're going on a new direction, but it's exciting. You have a lot of enthusiasm, um, and you're being led by your spirit. And so it's about staying true to that. You're here. You guys are here somehow to, I really feel break through the everyday 3d matrix world and live a truly sovereign life. And it may not look, it won't look like it won't look like mainstream life. It's going to be exciting and people are going to be curious and like, it'll be fun and it'll be adventurous. And I just feel like this energy of just being very open to spirit and letting go of judgments and letting go of any false beliefs that were holding you back from that and having the strength to trust yourself, having the strength to overcome whatever obstacles are standing on your way. And if you feel like you're waiting to begin your mission until you are in union with your divine partner, your twin flame. I also feel like spirit is telling you not to do that spirit. Your higher self is telling you that you are already on your mission and you are, you, you have this magic within you, this untapped magic that you actually used before you've tapped into it before you are a manifester. You have, you have, you have somehow tuned into energy. You're an energy worker. You are very spiritually, um, 
inclined, you move in a spiritual direction and you, you like magic and energy and being connected to things in the unseen and the esoteric and the metaphysical. And I just see that. And that's very awesome. And if you're in a situation where that may not be accepted, it's okay. You've got to remember that there are things you can't control and they're there to teach you something about yourself. Um, you guys are here to both learn how strong you are, that you can overcome anything to come together. The main, the main purpose though, is for you to know that you are whole and complete on your own without anyone else. Like nobody completes you. You complete yourself. Your, your first priority should be your union with yourself. You are your divine counterpart. You have to become your divine counterpart fully in order to attract your divine counterpart like attracts like you know we we attract what we are not what we want and so i feel like by doing so by breaking out of the norms by harnessing your inner strength and really tuning in to who you really are your life purpose is simply to be authentic it's to be who you really are to be magical to be fun to be fiery and passionate and you don't have to be doing anything in particular, it's having that strength to be authentic. I feel like you're here, you you feel drawn to living a sovereign lifestyle, maybe off the grid, maybe, you know, growing your own food and having your own life and not being connected to being dependent and reliant on a system, you know, that you want to be self-reliant and, and, and co-creating with nature, knowing that nature provides everything you need and that you are fully empowered and self-governing and can make your own choices and you're going to make the right choices. You do things for the highest good. You're, you and your divine counterpart mirror each other in that. So, you know, maybe if you're the one watching this, take the lead in that, you know, really <clears throat> come into that confidence within yourself, that you are independent, that you are sovereign, that you can take care of yourself. Yes. But none of us are meant to go it alone, right? We're meant to be with our divine partners, our soulmates, or the people that resonate with who we really are. And in order to do that, we have to have the strength and courage to walk in our authentic essence, our authentic power. So work your magic, get in tune with yourself completely and remind yourself of how far you've come and how much strength you have and how independent you really are, because you are, you, you are you and your divine counterpart are very independent. You, you guys are going, and that's what we're here to do. We're here to be that. We're here to be self-governing, sovereign beings and to teach others. So simply by doing that, by being a living example, you are fulfilling your life purpose, your soul mission. And, you know, because everything that comes from you will be beneficial and serve in some way, one way, shape, or the other. So, all right, you guys, I forgot to clarify throw this into the video because I forgot to clarify your cards and I'm going to have to do that because I did it for everybody else. <laughs> so I'm going to clarify control. Why is this here? The fool. Okay. The strength card. We got the fool clarified. So yeah, I mean really just letting go and taking the leap of faith, taking the leap of faith into the unknown and to really embodying your strength and what you came here to do and trusting spirit, trusting your inner guidance, trusting the wisdom and all the experiences that you've been through, you know, that you've gained the, the wisdom that you've learned, you've been shown your strength, you know, how strong you are. And so it's about taking this rest, taking this leap of faith into the unknown and following this path, regardless of what others may think or how they may feel. The spirit, why is the nine of pentacles here? Please clarify the nine of pentacles. The moon. Oh my gosh, all these cards fell out. Wow. The two of wands, the king of wands and the four of swords. Okay. And the moon. So I feel like, you know, with the two of wands being here and the three of wands, like really you're seeing out onto this new path. You've got the world in your hands. You can see what will manifest once this comes about, you know, staying true to this path is going to be worth it. You know, seeing your future, being able to see all of the love and joy that you're going to feel on this path. Um, and you know, in that it inspires others to look out onto the horizon, to look out at their possibilities and opportunities and what could be and what could sprout if they tune into their spirit, you know, <clears throat> and I feel like that's where you're at right now. You know, it's like this time of 
contemplation and really looking at your mission and your purpose here, you know, the king of wands, really taking control, really taking that time to step into your, to your leadership, you know, taking the lead, taking the lead of your life, taking action into, you know, the king doesn't necessarily take action as much as he likes to see his ideas put into action, you know, so this is about really embodying the, the big picture of why you're doing this, you know, to be able to look back at everything you've done, knowing that this beautiful, fiery, spiritual energy guided you and you're going to be looking at, you know, at your kingdom one day as the king of wands, because you chose to take this journey. You chose to be the fool, take this leap of faith into the unknown and, you know, create this life of passion and fire and love, love, right? You've got the four of swords. So again, just taking time to contemplate and go within and really tune into who you really are, that independent, strong, sovereign being that you are and the moon. You know, this is a time of things coming from the unconscious into the conscious, the subconscious into the conscious realm and, you know, things, illusions, you know, seeing through illusions and being able to know that you can't always see everything in the dark. You know, it's a time when things are coming out of the unseen into the scene and it's about rising above duality, you know, rising above duality and seeing the connection between the divine and duality and being able to know that not everything is what it appears to be. <laughs> not everything is what it appears to be, but you know, as we come into that knowing, it allows us to shift our perspective and get into an alignment with the path we're truly meant to be on. Okay. And then take the lead. Spirit, why are the why is the three of wands here? Why is the three of wands here? my group number four. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so you got the lovers. Okay. The lovers just totally flipped out. Why, why is this three of wands here? Because you're taking charge of your life. You are meant to be with your divine counterpart. When I came into realization that I was a divine counterpart, I realized that means I'm meant to be with my divine counterpart, that I have a divine counterpart that was created just for me and, and I for him, and we are one. And regardless of what's going on, in my mind, everything I do is to be in divine union with myself anyways. So it's just natural that I would be with the divine counterpart when the time is right, when the divine timing comes. And so... You know, it's a choice to be authentic. <laughs> it's a choice to follow your heart, your soul, what you came here to do. It's divine connection to source. And of course, the divine will bless you with your divine counterpart. It's something you've already chosen because the truth is nothing is separate from who you really are. You are the divine. The divine is you. And choosing to align with your soul, your divine purpose, taking the lead in your life, being able to really take those steps forward on this path is going to reveal more of what you're here to do and your mission work together. You're here to be together. Look at this is you and your divine counterpart doing mission, you know, coming together. Your mission is to come together. Your energy just coming together admits a frequency that is unlike any other and that's why the matrix world tries so hard, I think. Well, I won't get into that here. <laughs> follow your follow your soul because it's leading you right where you need to go. Okay, so that was the clarifiers for that. And we'll cut back into the rest of the reading. Thanks, guys. That is your reading. <laughs> I hope this message resonated with you. I hope it affirmed what you're feeling inside and gave you just some clarity and insight um, to your own, you know, journey here and your mission and your union within yourself. That's the most important thing. So I thank you again for your time, your energy, for being here, for subscribing, your likes, your shares, your comments. I am so grateful, so thankful, so honored to be a messenger and I'm just, it, it's, it brings my heart so much joy. There aren't even words to share with all of you how much I enjoy this. It, 
it truly, I learned so much right along with you. I walk with you. <laughs> so thank you again. I love you guys. Be true to you. I'm just sending tons of energy to all the divine counterparts out there. Seeing us all, we are all in union already. You know, just claim your union right now that you are in union with your divine counterpart, your divine self, the spirit. And so be it. Much love to all of you. Crystal Lynn, peace out.